Now I know what you're thinking, oh IHE, you're a big fat hypocrite, you're a hypocrite. Well, the whole point of these videos is to explain my point of view on why you're a hypocrite, yeah. No, to explain my views on various subjects and why you're a huge hypocrite. By the way, did you get a new haircut or something? You look weird and different again. God damn, those eyebrows are fucking huge. <laughs> Well, actually, come to think of it, I did have a shower. And when was the last time you showered? What was it? About... Three months ago? Yeah. So this is what you look like when you're clean. Ugh. I know the title of this video is laughable in context with a channel, but give me a second here to explain myself. Look, I'm not a hypocrite. Running a channel called I Hate Everything while providing a fun theme and nice branding, I sometimes can't help but feel like people overlook a very important aspect. Hate is a very strong word, it implies a certain level of hostility and resentment, and obviously I can't blame people for expecting such an attitude, especially with YouTube rant videos being notorious for their childish level of angst and unthoughtful comments and points. It's fucking retarded and anybody that watches it is a piece of fucking shit. People say that only looking at the negative is a bad way to approach life, but I don't think that having a certain level of pessimism is necessarily harmful. In fact, complaining is one of those things that humans in general just seem to love doing. We complain about being tired. We complain about work. We complain about colleagues. We complain, we complain about the about government. People we've never we met. We complain about the we new Batman. About the old Batman. We complain about we how complain things about are too money. expensive. We complain, we complain about, about our bosses. We complain about Aquaman. We complain about homework. We complain about we school. We complain about movies. We complain about games. We complain, we about, complain music. about TV. And do you know why we complain so much? Because it's fun. Everyone enjoys a good ramble or rant, and it's occasionally necessary to being a stable human being. But frequently, people forget about something very important, and that thing is rant etiquette. Rant etiquette requires three main rules for you to be taken seriously. And as long as you're negative along these lines, it's perfectly okay in my book. Don't be a huge, unrelenting asshole about it. Being civil and respectful to other people is the most basic thing that all humans should try to do. It really isn't difficult. And that applies to when you're being a negative Nancy. Much like when you're typing out a comment on a YouTube video, you should reread it in your head and think about the possible repercussions for what you're about to say. And if you even have the tiniest inkling of a doubt, don't say it. Because is it really worth saying, I hate people? No. No, it's not. I know being rational when things are heating up can be difficult, but just think. Because such intolerance deserves you being crowned as a big, fat bigot. And we have enough bigots to worry about on this planet as it is, so why add to it? Think about the other side of the coin. It's all well and good to complain and be negative, but what's the point if you completely dismiss the other side of the argument? You're not achieving anything. A well-rounded and fair rant can only succeed when you at least acknowledge why people think the other way to you. I know it might chip away at your fragile ego, but get over it, you're a human being with a brain. Hence why non-brained aliens and pets are excused from these rules. Not sure about ghosts, do ghosts have brains? I hate it sucks. Okay, so why does it suck? Give me a reason as to why it sucks. Because if you don't, I'm going to throw it straight into the I'm never going to listen to or respect your opinion again draw. Considering that saying, I don't know, it just sucks, after asking why isn't really a tactile answer either. And even if what the other side thinks is silly to you, why even put the energy into giving a fuck about it as long as they're not hurting anyone? Of course I'm talking in the vaguest way possible about this subject as a whole here, so there are examples that are excused from this rule. Such as if I said, I hate bigots, they suck. You don't really need to explain why, because it's fucking obvious. Present yourself in a non-dickhead way. What I mean by present yourself is that I firmly believe that clothes should be illegal and that all humans should be nude 100% of the time, because clothes are dumb, unless you live in the North Pole or somewhere cold where you should at least be allowed to wear one of those fluffy hoods. Nothing more, nothing less though. But in all seriousness, as long as you present your negative thoughts while thinking about the first two points here, you should at least manage to get through your entire life without being beaten to death by an angry hammer. Wait, how's a hammer angry? What? Let's put this into a real life example. You go up to a counter and ask for some chewing gum. The cashier says they're all out of gum. So what do you do? A. What do you mean you don't have any gum? This is a shop, you should sell things that I want at all times. That's it, call your manager, this is unacceptable. Or B. Oh, okay then. It's not like gum is a rare commodity. I'll find it somewhere else. Thanks. So which do you choose? Well, clearly, A is the correct answer. Being out of stock of chewing gum is fucking unacceptable. So you know what? You can brand me as a hater or a douchebag who lives for the negative all you want. As long as I continue to present my naked thoughts to you in a realistic and respectful manner, no moronic comment is going to dissuade or dishearten me otherwise. And as long as you follow the rant etiquette rules, or you present it as entertainment or comedy, what really is the harm in it? I do sometimes wonder what the channel would be like if I did make videos with a ceaseless, unflinching abandon for ranting. It would probably go something like this. Why Sonic? Why Sonic? Why Sonic? Why Sonic? Fuck my little pony! Fuck you! Go fuck yourself! You filthy liars are going to pay! I swear to freaking God, you're going to pay! And they say that's the way they get girls. And I'm like, what the fuck?
Hypocrite, hypocrite, hippo, hippo, hypocrite. Hippo, crit. Da, da, right, that's it. Da, Kite man decapitate his ass. Wait. Slap. I've been meaning to make a video like this for a while now. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. So what do you think about negativity? Do you enjoy realistically reveling in it as much as I do? Tell me in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Make sure you check out a couple of my other videos as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye.